Bill, thank you. Stay out of the water. That is the message from the Ottawa County Sheriff's Department tonight. With heavy winds sending waves up to 17 feet high, the water could be deadly. Here's 24-hour News 8's Crystal Hilliard tonight. The hundreds of RVs and visitors are here on Grand Haven Beach mark the beginning of Labor Day weekend. But this weekend, Mother Nature is making every surfer, swimmer, and boater that gets in these waters look like daredevils. David Oliver is one of them. He's been bodyboarding for almost 15 years and couldn't pass up the chance to get in on these waves, but he didn't stay out long. I think it's a little too choppy. It's uh, it's pretty rough out there. It's it's hard to walk around. The current is is really flowing fast south, so it'll it'll take you away in a hurry. These lovebirds are edging on the safe side. Oh, I just wanted to come out and see see the waves out here. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to see something like this in the summertime. As the red flag served as warning, dozens of people swam anyway. Even more stood on the pier watching these monstrous waves. But either way, the sheriff's department says it's too dangerous out here. You know, you don't last out there. The water is, is dangerous. A lesson shown at about 7 o'clock Friday night, the Coast Guard briefly hit the water, searching for someone believed to have fallen from the pier, but he was found okay. But the advice remains the same for Oliver and everyone else taking on Mother Nature. Do you have any words for people who are planning on going out there and yeah. swimming in the water? This don't. Time? Don't swim and don't go on the pier. But if you insist on boating or getting in these dangerous waters, officials are asking you to wear a life jacket and bring a friend. Reporting from Grand Haven Beach, Crystal Hillier, 24-Hour News 8. The Coast Guard saved two kayakers capsized by six-foot waves this evening. The water rescue happened near Sleeping Bear Dunes. The two men were wearing life jackets, which Coast Guard officials say saved their lives.